Hey guys, Fabien Vidal with Amagazaki Motor. We are in a 1919 Nissan Pao uh, at Amagazaki Motor. I'm starting, so this thing, actually we had a couple problems with it. So first suspensions were bad. Uh, so we had to change the suspension. Then after the suspension being bad, uh, when I tried to do the video the first time, I noticed that the wheel bearing was, was bad. Uh, so yeah, it took a bit of time to, to do the test drive. I've already done the photo shoot. So the test drive is only gonna be from a Megazaki motor to a Megazaki motor and I'll do the walk around just here Up. so everything works in this one automatic and uh, it's basically a Nissan Micra so if you know them a little bit uh, parts, mechanical parts are readily, mostly readily available in the US or in the rest of the world because like it was sold the Nissan Micra this generation was sold in Canada so you can get some parts from Rokoto and stuff like that for it uh, don't just don't crash it like cosmetic like anything that's like body related is actually kind of expensive and difficult to find like the original radio for example once it's broken you repair it you don't replace it uh, it's not uh, yeah not super easy to to find spares for it for it so but uh, this one is among the nice ones. You will see like some minor defects here and there, but it's really, really limited. Like really not much at all. Uh, so suspensions actually come, so they were like terrible. Like I've never bought, ah, maybe I've bought one. Maybe one didn't need suspension changed. Uh, basically, if you try to buy suspensions here, uh, they will tell you that it's gonna be worth like eight or 900 bucks uh, for a set of four. Uh, which is absolutely ridiculous for Nissan Micra suspensions. So what we do is uh, I order them in the UK. I order like K10 uh, suspensions, K10 Micra suspension or March uh, in the UK. And it ends up being uh, for this one, like I think that was like 310 bucks, 300 bucks for the whole set uh, shipped, landed, arrived in Japan, uh, which is, yeah reasonable and not uh, not like stupid prices in, uh, in Japan make me think that I'm probably gonna be ordering a couple to resell in Japan because <laughs> there's definitely money to make on that so and as I said like they all have shitty suspensions like all of them uh, never get one that's correct but uh, yeah no this one is uh, is really nice uh, radio is working Hop. So you press the button and it's it's like I need to go back to try to find some. I think I have to pull the antenna. But uh, yeah, now now we're just trying to find. Um, is it on FM or AM? Not sure. So anyway, yeah, radio works. It just like uh, how do I turn on? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it just doesn't find any radio right now, maybe because the antenna is not uh, on. Uh, also, it has a sunroof, so we will see that it works normally too. Uh, you can hear it open. And there is actually too much sun, so I'm going to close it back right away. But it is working fine, and just overall, like it's a car that drives like yeah, really well. It is slow, I huh? don't expect it to be a fast car. Like on the highway, you will cruise at like a hundred or so. Like I can hear the, <laughs> the sunroof flipping around in the wind. Yeah, yeah that's a bit better. Uh, so it is not a fixed sunroof. It is not a hard sunroof. It's uh, it's basically it flaps. It just like a. You, you will see when I show it to you. It's not exactly the most quiet, uh, the quietest of all sunroofs, uh, but uh, but it works. So and it doesn't rain in the car either. So yay. Up. So some storage here and there, like really the most useless uh, glove box there is. It's like this this thick. You can only go this deep. Uh, as I said, air conditioning all right. Here it's missing the button of the. So that's for the warning lights. Uh, and it is missing the, the bottom the button there uh, otherwise you have like cigarette lighter right there hidden behind the steering and a little button to open the, the trunk 
Uh, what else can I go over with? Yeah, no, just like I can accelerate a little bit. No, it's getting... <laughs> that wasn't full throttle, but uh, yeah, it's not quick, not quick at all. Old school flash nice. Uh, brakes feels good. Yeah, everything's just pretty nice. Everything's pretty nice. But keep in mind it drives like a Nissan Micra, which means it drives. It's an Econo box from Nissan from V80s. It drives like an Econo box from Nissan from V80s. Like nothing, don't expect anything too too awesome in there. It's like not exactly a driver's car to begin with. It's made to be cool looking and it does it really well. Megan RS on the right there. Quite a bit of wind noise from the from the sunroof as you start to accelerate. I know there are some method to, to make it uh, quieter and all, but meh. It's not a car that's gonna be used for one road trips anyway, so uh, you know what? I think I'm just gonna be doing a little U turn here because the weather. The weather. Well, the weather is actually pretty good, but uh, traffic is absolutely horrible. So it's better to just. <laughs> it's really not quick. <laughs> it's really, really not quick. Wahoo! Stupid birds. Uh, maybe I could turn left here. Have I ever have I even tried that before? I don't know. Nah, we'll just go back the, the other way around. Uh, yeah, there's not that much to say about it really. Just now it's driving well. Uh, you can hear the air conditioning kicking in from time to time. Alright, let's floor it. That was like, that's all it could give. <laughs> it couldn't give any more than that. It's probably never been read before like that, actually. <laughs> so this one has 85,000 km. Uh, it has an accident history. Uh, underneath, uh, basically in the rear, you can see that like, uh, if you go you put it in a lift, you, you, you're able to see that there's been some like uh, mild reapers. So accident history when it's called like this one is coming from auction. We bought it from auction, so it was graded R. R grades mean uh, like basically that it's been like it's not like a rebuilt title like in the US or anything. Like people just like all the time are confused about that. Uh, a car it means that the car has an insurance claim on its file on record. So that means that between 2004 and now it's had an insurance claim. Uh, you can have some cars that have clearly been crashed, that uh, that are even sometimes crashed and that are not going to be graded R reason for that because there was no insurance claim on them uh, a crashed car is not automatically an R graded car at auction it needs to have an insurance claim that's why I've had like drift missiles that were already like free uh, even though they were like obviously been crashed and the chassis was like twisted in all possible ways uh, if it doesn't have my insurance claim on record, it's not going to be great in R, so that's what those are. Uh, so yeah, like a little bit in the rear, it's, it was a rear impact, so it's not, nothing is visible from the outside. Uh, everything was repaired like extremely well, uh, but if you look underneath, like you can see that the trunk uh, was slightly like um, was a wheel, um, where the spare wheel lays. Uh, you can see that it's like slightly uh, bumped, uh, bumped in, uh, that it's been like pressed somehow. Uh, so that's where the, the repair uh, occurred before. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't change the, the, the driving condition of the car. There's no rust over that or anything. It's been well repaired. Uh, yeah, overall, like a yeah, very good car. And to have something with that kind of mileage, uh, like they, they are normally like very expensive. But people being scared, lo lots of people like we inspect cars before buying them. Uh, so we go to the auction, so that's why we're not necessarily afraid of uh, repaired car, upgraded cars. Um, 
and can really assess the damages that were done to, to the car and what kind of claim, what kind of insurance claim it was. Uh, in some cases, it could be like a, a stolen and recovered car uh, would be also considered an upgraded car, as long as it's been like the insurance was involved in all that. Uh, but um, yeah, it, maybe the car hit a, basically like the, the, the an R grade could be like a, a cyclist that hit a car, or it could be cut in half and resold it together. Uh, there's like absolutely no levels of uh, of R graded cars. Uh, there is some auctions that have RA grade, uh, which means like really they, they actually like not notify people that it is a minor claim that was on it, but most auctions don't care. So. So yeah, uh, yeah. Well, this drive great. There's not much to say really. Uh, we'll go uh, in detail with the cosmetic condition of the car. Uh, but yeah, that's overall a very very nice little car. Those things they're all the time normally rusted, rusted out. Ow! Fuck! Just destroyed my finger. It hasn't been open for a while. These are normally always rusted out, and that's not the case here. It's just a bit, a bit stiff, but uh, it works normally. And I destroyed my food, my finger trying to open it. It definitely wasn't open; hasn't been open for a long time. Uh, same thing on the other side. And usually they rust right here in the mount. Uh, if you look uh, at uh, Jason Torshinsky's videos and the article on his Pow on Jalopnik you will be able to see that he had to repair those things. Uh, that's a common rust point on them. Uh, also, yes, one specificity of this one, this one being pearl white, uh, or pearl color, the interior trim is black, so that's specifically just for this color. Otherwise, like the interior is um, white, but if they had kept it on the same color, that would have been like way too much white in the car. So like gear shift is white, a uh, gear shift is black, steering as well is black, all the like like switches and stuff are black also. Uh, so yeah, pretty like it's don't break those steerings, don't destroy them or anything because they are, it's impossible to find them. Uh, like those the black interiors uh, for um, with a black like half black interior. Any any black plastic parts are impossible to find uh, on uh, on Nissan Power. So, Up. and we are back in the Magazine Matter. All right, back at the shop. Now it's time for the walk around. That's my Clio right there. Lutetia, sorry. Up. Walk around. Et nous sommes repartis donc pour... Euh... Why, why am I doing in French? Why, why French? Well, sorry guys. <laughs> in English. And we're back again with the walk around of the car. Uh, yeah, like cosmetically, there's, not, there's nothing that I can tell you really. Uh, there's a car like usually, so as usual with towels, they normally rust uh, around here uh, quite profusely. That's not the case with this one. Uh, yeah, there's just like absolutely nothing. Nothing there you can see. Cool wheels. Hello guys. Up. Well, wheel covers, that's not the actual wheels. Uh, underneath they're just like regular stillies, really nothing special. Uh, so it is a bit dirty. I think like some kind, somebody tried to maybe, or maybe a cat climbed on it. <laughs> that's pretty weird. But yeah, a bit dirty here. And definitely a cat, a cat actually walked on it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and no, I'll just absolutely no issues cosmetically whatsoever. Everything, everything is just nice. Uh, little things that I would change, like this is kind of like mirror, uh, mirror thing. Uh, yeah, I'd get rid of that. It looks bad too. It's not in very good condition. But it's also a pain in the butt to remove it. So yeah, no. Uh, one thing that we did. So you have the button here to release. Uh, Another thing that we did because they all the time die also. Up the um, the struts, the struts are always always bad, so they need to be they always need to be replaced. Up and now they hold they hold together, so you can sit here. 
like I mention it in every single videos but uh, you can you can sit there pretty comfortable if you're going picnic or whatever up spare spare wheel right there uh, so the repair was done underneath that uh, you can't really see anything from under there uh, you will have to go underneath to actually see something I am not sure you'll be able to see the repairs but you can see that it has been repaired uh, over there up. Uh, then we have like so the seat folds completely uh, if you want more cargo space uh, but cargo road also so it's oh, oh, sorry it is just like seats are nice like driver's seat shows that they're on the car is only like 86,000 kilometers like those tend to get really dirty very quick not an issue right there uh, because the interior and the plastics are not white, it is not faded. Uh, if you're used to Nissan Power, you would know that the white steering, everything just is more or less yellow uh, and not really, yeah, not not the correct color. Uh, flasher here, so they work and everything, but the button itself is broken. Uh, air conditioning. Uh, defrost, like wherever you want the, the fans. There's not a lot of options to talk about, really. Here, as I said, you also have the, um, like cigarette lighters that has been used before, but there's absolutely no smell of cigarette or anything in there. Uh, yeah, plastics, so typical on them all also, like scratches when you get out of the car, you just leave a little, little scratch on the plastic there with your shoe, uh, so it does have those marks. Uh, but uh, no rust in the door hinges. Uh, other side here, it's pretty good too. Here, the handle, uh, the plastic has fallen down and is missing. Uh, as I said, the so let me up. So it is carbureted. So give it a bit of gas when you want to start it. Sunroof. goes all the way to the back and when you don't have like crazy sun that's actually a really nice uh, nice option to have uh, where else can I go yeah no overall it's just a very nice car as I said like a couple really minor minor issues but uh, really no big deal whatsoever no big deal at all uh, what else can I go on with yeah it's not exactly full of options this car so <laughs> it's like the video is fairly up fairly limited so let's go check the the engine bay up there you go so yeah nothing special very basic nissan micra engine i think it's a one liter 1.1 i actually forgot if it's a one or 1.1 uh where is the ah of course on the other side So the AC is on, so that's why like the idling is a bit not the smoothest if you turn off the AC. Up. It becomes suddenly a lot smoother. You can see the AC fan stopping right there. And uh, yeah. So yeah, oh, it's gonna tell me here it is uh no it doesn't tell me the size of the engine. It should it should normally on the wind plate on the wind plate indicate the size of the engine. But uh, it doesn't. Ah, yeah, 987 cc. So that's a one liter. That's a one liter engine. Uh, yeah, no rust. Uh, there was no front impact or anything during that crash, uh, that accident that was repaired. So not an issue here. Yeah, just overall like overall very nice. You can see so the interior from the sunroof been like nicely oiled. I think it's been maintained that's good uh, they tend to usually get stuck and not work well at all uh, but that's not the case with this one so good point right there and uh, all right close this close that 
and that's pretty much it really for the walk around there's like there's really not much on these cars to say uh, i like cars with more problems like that my videos are longer but uh, then i can go on in detail about everything but uh, yeah when it's nice like that there's not not much to say at all really even the bumpers are pretty nice my name, my name little little spot right there but uh, yeah overall super super nice car that is actually fairly rare to get at uh, anything close to a decent price uh, but uh, yeah we got a bit lucky with this one so Hop. Tac. and I guess I will like park it back inside Try not to hit anything. That's never fun, you know. Especially when the car is already sold, like this is the case with this one. It will be going to Florida. So really perfect weather for for those over there. And back in its little hole. with ATL's JDM Sparse. ATL's JDM Sparse. Can I say, can I say something like that? Uh, Miata. It's special with the sunroof, with the hot top and everything. That's also gonna be going soon to Georgia. All right. There you go. Shipping out soon. And uh, well, till next time guys. Bye bye.